Welcome to the Ad App, the Adobe Applications Hack Tool. As a reminder, please always back up your files. Despite all the automatic backup features, something can always go wrong. When Adobe Hack Tool is started, all installed Adobe Premiere versions are listed in the log view, which brings us to the first function, the settings management. All settings from installed Premiere versions are listed in the drop-down menus, where you can choose the source and destination versions of your settings. Under the From User dropbox list, you can choose the local user or the cloud user data to be copied. For example, if you have just updated from an earlier version to a newer one, you can choose to copy the complete settings from the older version to the newer one. Normally, when you update Premiere, not all settings are migrated to the newer version, like shortcut keys, all your presets you created and window settings, default paths and especially the LUT files and the custom LUT files, which are left over. And with this function, you can copy all the settings to the newer version you choose. In the copy what section, you can choose what should be copied to the destination. The prefs and presets are all the settings within the settings folder. And when selecting LUTs, all the LUT files in the creative, technical and legacy folders are being copied. The next function is the change Premiere project file version function. It is basically the same as my already infamous tool Premiere Pro BCC, the back compatibility converter tool. You choose your Premiere project. The tool shows the current project file version. You can convert it back and forth to any version available in the drop down menu. To save the new version, just hit convert. The tool reloads the project after it's being saved and displays the current version. The next function is the modify Premiere sequence function. It lets you choose any sequence of your opened Premiere projects and change the resolution and frame rate for a sequence. This is especially useful for older Premiere versions, which were not able to change the sequence settings after they were set in Premiere. But please be careful what resolution or frame rate you choose for a sequence. Not all codecs might support all resolutions or frame rate you set. So you have to know what you do here. To modify a sequence, select it in the drop down, hit modify, make your changes, hit set, and when you're finished, click save project file to save the modified project file to the disk. The next function is save uncompressed Premiere projects. It uncompresses the currently opened project file and saves it as a text file in XML format which then can be opened with any text editor. The next function is export project media list, which just saves a text file with the list of all your file assets in the currently opened Premiere project file. The clip list text file will be saved with the same name as your project file with a txt file extension. It is located in the same folder as the open project file. The next function is the element finder. It enables you to search in the currently opened project file for any file based element. If you leave the search field empty and click search, all the elements in this project are being listed. All listed elements can then be exported as a text file. Which brings us to the next function, the recursive project element searcher. You enable it simply by clicking the search folder checkbox. You can then choose your project folder. When clicking search, the whole path with all subfolders are being searched for project files, this time with the project path containing the element. You can search for any element using wildcards like star or question mark or just a part of the name or path of the element. The listed elements can again be exported as a text list. Thank you for watching and have fun with the Adobe Hack Tool.